When was that humbling moment? Was there was there a humbling moment? You know, I feel like I'm a I'm a humble guy, but when I once you cross the line, like you have that, you know, that you're the man and that you can't get touched out. Like you know, you just have that feeling of you're doing this your whole life. You worked hard to be here. Like you just feel like you can't get touched. And, and like, of course, man, like you're playing against the best in the world. Like at, when I started practicing against Minka, against TJ, against Cam. You're like, you know, these guys can play. You know, it's a humbling. Once, once you get up here and you see how good everyone is, man, you can't have an off day. You know, you got to be on on your shit every single day or you're going to get you're going to get beat. So, you know, I definitely came in, I feel like, with a humble attitude, man. But, you know, it definitely gets checked when you get blown out like that. And um, it's not a good feeling. So I felt like once we hit the bye week, man, like we came together and like it could go yeah. two ways. Like we could this thing could tank and we'd be two and whatever and finish or, yeah. you know, we could push for the playoffs and have a shot and. We ended up having a shot that last week and didn't go our way, but it was cool to see, you know, the way we finished, the way we came together as a team. Hold up. Limitless. Take a stomach cap, pinning it.